Hi, my name is Amir Khan, and today we're going to be talking about the logistics structure of consumer electronics, or more specifically, Sony. Sony Corporation is a Japanese conglomerate based in Tokyo, Japan. It is a global corporation with diverse business areas, including gaming, technology, financial services, and entertainment. Sony is one of the world's largest producers of consumer and professional electronic goods, with a turnover of approximately 77 billion US dollars in the financial year 2019. Sony competes in a number of industries that are known for the extremely fast product development cycles, short product life cycles, and highly synchronized supply chains, all of which are needed for the products to be profitable. All of these factors have elevated the supply chain to such a strategic position in the industry and are the reason why Sony has continued to invest so heavily in their own. So Sony's supply chain model basically consists of four major components, which include procurement of raw materials, procurement of parts, infrastructure processing, and then retail. The raw material like tin, tantalum, tungsten, or gold is supplied by Sony's tier two suppliers to Sony's tier one suppliers over here, where this raw material is then processed into parts to manufacture many of Sony's products, like the PlayStation 5, many computers, and television sets, etc. After manufacturing, these parts are then provided to uh, many of Sony's manufacturing facilities across the world, located in several different locations like China, Thailand, South Korea, Japan, Malaysia, Brazil, and the UK. Additionally, Sony also relies on subcontractors and contract manufacturing for its fast-moving products. Lastly, these um, manufacturing facilities then assemble the parts in the form of final goods and services, which are then either subjected to storage facilities for stocking or retail or online stores to be sold to the final consumer. In July 2016, the new Sony Supply Chain Code of Conduct was adopted fully in aligning with the EICC Code of Conduct. The Supply Chain Code requires Sony suppliers to respect basic human rights, provide fair working conditions, and a healthy and safe workplace for their employees, and apply proper work ethical considerations and all business dealings with quality standards and competitive prices. So Sony currently faces a number of environmental and business challenges as more and more people become educated about environmental protection companies are supposed to have the same sensitivity towards that environment. Environmental chain insights have also prompted companies to investigate more environmentally sustainable assembly options. Every factor comes into consideration from production processes and the chemicals used to consumer inert energy used and product disposal. So for this very reason, Sony developed a Road to Zero initiative, which is a long-term plan established by Sony to assist the organization in meeting its environmental objectives. The Road to Zero initiative's aim, as the name implies, is to reach zero emission footprint by 2050, with intermediate goals set in between. Furthermore, Meeting consumer demand is a challenge in itself, but meeting consumer demand as their tastes and preferences change as the weather poses a completely new set of challenges in the context of short product life cycles. It can be difficult to say what's hot and what's not, which is why many electronic companies and suppliers must have new product introduction processes in place. The easiest and most reliable way to reach targets and achieve production goals is through closed loop communication between sales, manufacturing, and engineering departments. The collaborative problem solving approach, or the CPS approach, is used to tackle this challenge in Sony. When searching for new ideas and solutions, this strategy typically includes creating a team of workers who are motivated to engage in the change process. Sony understands that its workers should hold the keys to creativity inside themselves and that all they need is the right forum to share their experience-based ideas. Sony uses the CPS approach to inspire people to engage in a diverse atmosphere that fosters innovative ideas rather than relying exclusively on traditional ideas and past practices to solve the problem. So this is all we have for our discussion today. Thank you for joining in.
and I'll see you later.